And our word for today on this Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome on this Thursday, November the 9th, our word for today is zeal. Zeal, our word for today, and here to talk about it, the one, the only, Andrew Reinhardt. Good morning, Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Good morning, David Ron. How are you? Doing great. Good. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Doing great. I'm in beautiful Faustoria, Ohio. Nice. Our office is putting on a uh, youth ministry roundtable, we call it. We're doing an expo this time on hosting retreats for youth. So there's all oh, kinds of great nice. people from uh, places like Life Teen in Damascus and other uh, wonderful Catholic ministries here with us today as we try to provide some support and material to our youth ministers around the diocese. What, what a great place for that for to that, happen, yeah. too. That's great. So our word for the day is zeal. This is from our Gospel of the Day. Um, it says, in the Scripture, as, as Jesus is in the temple, cleansing the temple, it says, zeal for your house will consume me. Mm. Zeal for, cons- will consume me. And this is, you know, one of those Scripture passages that I think often make people uncomfortable, right? Because Jesus, he's a little angry here. Mm. And uh, and sometimes we can think all anger is bad, but our church has always thought there's a kind of holy anger, a kind of holy zeal, a kind of holy indignation that that is right and just. Um, so, But we also know that there's an unholy kind of zeal, right? I mean, we saw a lot of this just this last week at our election. Mm. You know, people are, in our country are zealous about things that aren't of the Lord, too. And so... This idea of zeal, we need to make sure that our zeal is directed toward the Lord. Uh, I, I'm thinking of Pope St. John Paul II. When he called for the new evangelization, he said he, he foresaw an evangelization that was new in ardor, new in methods, and new in expression. Mm. But this idea of ardor, a holy ardor, this kind of heartfelt passion for the cause, this this desire, this longing for all people to know Christ. And what he had sensed in the church is that our ardor for the salvation of souls, for evangelization, frankly, had waned. Mm. And calling for this new evangelization to be a season of a new ardor for souls. You know, earlier, Dave, I love how you talked about evangelization mm. and this kind of zeal that we need to have for spreading the gospel. And, and, and you know, in this, this day today is the Feast of the Dedication of the Lateran Basilica. We have these great, beautiful churches that we get to worship in and that and that are all around the world. And what, what that is, is it's a great sacramental sign of the zeal of our ancestors, mm. of the ardor of our ancestors who gave so much for our faith. And we always know that, that our zeal as a community of faith has waned when we can no longer maintain those buildings, right? And that's often a sad reality for many of our parishes, that they struggle, you know, to not defer maintenance, to just... Uh, you know, replace the roof or, or whatever. And this is right. these are all symptoms of the zeal of our faith waning. Uh, but that that zeal, that new ardor, that drive, is is there because we need to do difficult things mm. as a community of faith. You know, we don't just need to try hard. We also need to do difficult things. And this is what Jesus is having to do here in the temple area, you know, facing the authorities, uh, you know, a lot of scripture commentators think he actually might have done this multiple times, because in our gospel today is from the beginning of the gospel of John, but in the synoptic gospels, there's this cleansing of the temple that happens at the end of his ministry, mm. at the end of the gospel. And, and the way that when Augustine reads this, he says, well, he probably he probably went there and got frustrated more than once. Yeah, right. <laughs> You know, so, so the same is true for us today. If Christ had the rouse of this holy zeal multiple times to face the iniquities, the injustices, the, especially the, the the corruption within the temple, we too need to face that too. But remember, when Jesus then talks about the temple, he talks about the temple of his own body. Mm. <clears throat> so with our zeal, we need to start with ourselves too. We need to zealously purify the temple that ourselves, that's me. And then from that platform of of the holy zeal for our own conversion, then we can face the world and have a holy zeal for others' conversions too. And our world gets this the opposite. They think if we can just solve all the problems out there, all the problems in society with the government, then then our problems will be gone. But as Catholics, we need to recognize it starts with us. We mm. need to have zeal for the transformation 
of our own temple. So our word for the day is deal. Love it, Andrew. And, you know, I think as uh, members of the Diocese of Toledo, we have this great testimony of zeal of those who came before us in our own cathedral that was built during the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. And every time I walk in there, I'm like, man, they did all of this in a time of great distress in our country, but they did it anyway. Amen. Yeah, it's a beautiful witness of faith of our ancestors and a challenge for us to step up to the plate today. Amen to that. Love it. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks for joining us on Morning Offering for this Thursday. Ron and Dave, hopefully, we'll be talking to you tomorrow morning for a Friday.